Surf Curse, Freaks, Guitar Tabs, and Guitar Lesson. So this will be in a standard tuning, E, A, D, G, B, E. And I'll give you a couple different methods of doing this. Um, the first way I think is probably the most accurate sounding. Um, we have this initial guitar line for the first guitar, and this is pretty much good throughout the whole song, the intro, the verse, chorus. And it just does this kind of ostinato continuing melody here where we got the nine on the high E, and then we go 10, nine on the B, back to the 10. All right, and it just repeats that bit right there three times, and then it caps it off, coming up to the 12s on the high E. It goes 12, 12, 10, 10. And then just repeats the cycle from there. Okay, and for the second guitar, during the intro and the verse section, we're just bouncing between two chords. And the first one, start with the A. And like I said, I'll give you a couple ways of doing this. The first one, just like the bar chord style. Uh, so we'll just be at the five, the E, go seven on the A and the D, and then a six on the G. The B and E string are just kind of muted, quiet. You know, you can just lightly have your finger touching them to keep them quiet. And for the most part, uh, this first method, we're just gonna do like a down strumming style. Okay, and we're just cranking through it. All right, and basically you wanna do four sets of eight strums. All right, so if you just keep that count in your head, it's basically like four measures. All right, so four measures of that A, and then we shift to the second chord, which is uh, technically it's, an, it'll be like a F sharp minor or G flat minor overall, but we're just really doing like the power chord of it. So it'll be the, the two on the E and the four on the A and D, and then everything else will be muted under that. All right, and it's the same type of deal with that, just the down strumming for four measures worth. All right, and we would just go between those two chords throughout the intro and verse. For the chorus section, we just uh, kind of move one chord and add another chord. Basically, we just start off with a D now, and this is kind of a, the same as the F sharp, where like the overall chord is like a D major vibe, but we're just kind of really messing with just the power chord of it. So we'll do it here at the 5A, 7 on the D and G, and then everything else will be muted. So you can mute that low E and the B and the E. All right, and same type of down strum and same amount of times for the measures. All right, and just a second chord. And all we're going to do is just get back to that A that we started with. So just kind of bring it up a set now. All right, so we got our 5E, 7A, 7D, and 6G. Everything else is muted. And same deal, strum it out, four measures worth, and just bounce between that D to A like that. And as I mentioned, we can, we can try a second method if you prefer it. Um, just a little bit of voicing changes here. So for the lead line, uh, if you like it more down here, makes it easier for you. Uh, you could be here where we'll do two on the B, then we go two, one, G, back to two, G. Okay, so a little bit of a voicing change there, but just maybe more of a convenient spot for you if you like this. Same type of thing, just repeat that three times. And then the way to finish it up, just hit an open high E string a couple times, and then three on the B a couple times. So if you like that spot, you could try that out. And for the alternate method uh, for the intro and verse second guitar, uh, you know, instead of doing like the bar chord style, if you have trouble with bar chords, uh, you could try it this way, where we're just basically hitting second fret on the D, G, and B string, and then the open A string. Every, you know, the low E, high E can mute that. So I kind of just drape my thumb over the low E just to keep it quiet. index fingers just lightly touching that high E as we're barring everything else. 
and it's the same type of deal. It's just a different spot for that A. Strum it out the same way. And as far as the, the F sharp minor, G flat minor, it's kind of hard to get away from that. Uh, so basically we just got to stick with the same deal, that 2E4 on the A and D there. Okay, the alternate uh, position for the chorus. So we could just do like an open style D here. So uh, just do the open D, two on the G, three on the B. And like, like I said, I just kind of drape my thumb over to keep the, the A and the low E quiet. Right. And then of course we just go right back to our open style A with just the twos on the D, G and B there. And just like a strumming alternative, if if you you know you can't quite get the down strumming, keep it going. It does take a bit of stamina, you know, to build that up. So if that's just too much for you, you can just do like an alternating down up, down up, down up. Keep that going. It makes it a little bit easier. So you'd just be like and just keep that going. So it makes it a little bit easier. You don't quite get that uh precise like down strumming vibe i guess but it's just an alternate method if you if you can't quite get the down strumming yet